Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone to the moment that uh, a couple of you have been waiting for. The Grand Championship Finals of the Price is Right Sports Cards Edition Tournament. Eight contestants have been whittled down to just two here. And we are in the finals featuring Dustin, the sports card dad, versus Jeremy, the Texas snowman. Good luck to both of you gentlemen. All right, welcome everyone. Or uh, that uh, that time has finally arrived. The uh, arguably the the most important sporting event in the history of the world. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the finals of sports card Jeopardy here. We have uh, a, a, a dynamite a dynamite matchup. Dustin, the sports card dad, versus uh, Jeremy, the Texas snowman. Dustin, uh, let's see, beat uh, took down Danny Black in the first round, and then. Uh, a dominating six for six performance in the second round against Junk Wax here. Mike, the only perfect round of the okay. and uh Donson, a couple of nail biters beat uh beat uh who'd you beat in the first round? Uh Jeremy, Jeremy. and then uh Mike Moynihan. Four three both 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 rounds, right? That's if I remember correctly. I think so. Four two or four three. I I, I Moynihan was four three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that brings us to the finals here. And uh, uh yeah, same same rules, six questions. We got two um two 80s football which is dustin's category of choice and two vintage baseball which is jeremy's category of choice and two random of my choice and those are, are both uh yeah those are both i'll, I'll say interesting and i'll also say <laughs> i would great. say this this uh this round are probably the hardest questions that uh, i've given out so far so just uh i would expect nothing less it's <laughs> the finals. yeah it's the finals, it's the finals. Right. yeah this is the, uh, the the big boys here um all right you guys uh, ready to roll ready brother i think so Ready. All right. First question is a vintage baseball. It's a Jeremy category and actually a fairly straightforward one. We got two Hall of Fame rookies here. Rod Carew on the left. They got mad hits like Rod Carew in a PSA 2 from 1967 tops. That's a high number. And uh, Eddie Murray on the right in a PSA 8 from 1978 tops. Go at it. All right. You both ready? I think I'm ready. That was quick. That was quick. Uh, all right. right. One, two, three, reveal. One, two, three, reveal. We got Carew. Sure. Both put Carew. And you are both correct. Well all done, right. sir. Well right. done, sir. Nice. All right. I got to keep my scorecard over here. Any uh, any thoughts on, that, like, on that one? I felt like Chris was trying to trick with that two. That two <laughs> great. It felt, it felt a little bit too good to be true, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> was there uh, how how confident were you were you both on that one? I was I was pretty I was very confident on that. Yeah, I I just remember, and the only thing I was kind of thinking about with this, I was a little nervous because sixty seven is still not that long ago, and it's it is a two grade. But I was just thinking with that seventy eight tops and just the print runs on seventy eight tops. I know the tens are obviously very low, but then the nines and the eights, there's a heavy pop, you know, yeah. for for yeah. Murray. So. Yeah, I was just, just hoping that was right. All right, so we are one to one through one round. Uh, yeah, yeah. Both, uh, both players proven their worth here as finalists. <laughs> 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 All right, we're on to an '80s football question, which is Dustin's category of choice. A uh, couple of rookie quarterbacks, non Hall of Famers, um, and very very similar pop counts. 83 tops Jim McMahon rookie and 87 tops Randall Cunningham rookie, both in PSA Gem Intense. Again, almost identical pop counts. Neither are Hall of Famers. Jim McMahon's most famous for winning the Super Bowl with the maybe the greatest team ever, right? The 85 Bears. Man, amazing. Uh, and amazing. Cunningham, most famous for kind of being like the first, like truly, you know, run threat quarterback. I, I don't know. Would you say, agree with that, Dustin? He's like sort of the first, you know, Michael Vick before there was Michael yeah, Vick. I would say so. He He definitely, well, yeah, I mean, I guess you could make an argument for like a Fran Tarkenton, yeah. really being like a big time scrambler. But you're right. I mean, like Cunningham was, I mean, a lot more athletic than Tarkenton. So yeah, it, yeah. he was he was that guy for sure. All right, okay. you guys. So which uh, one? You guys both have your answers. Oh, I haven't even it. written it down yet. No. Yeah, I've got it. I'm just gonna go with my gut on this one, but it could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. I'm I'm in the same boat. Like, I think I know. Yeah, the problem I'm having. Yeah, well, we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay. Oh no! Give, give all your secrets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go through all the, the entire. Up Please upset. continue. Please <laughs> yeah. continue. But you know, uh, Chris, Chris does it, but it's like evil Jedi mind trick stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, you I, I have a feeling like this is going to be separated by like eight dollars. Knowing Chris, <laughs> <laughs> are you both ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 
All right, one, two, three, reveal. Cunningham. Cunningham and McMahon. Uh, so Dustin had Cunningham, Jeremy had McMahon. Correct. Yeah. It is Cunningham. Oh, nice Wait one. Nice one. Okay. I thought just strictly based on kind of what we were just talking about, the popularity and and also just, I don't know, Eagles fans. There's a thing with Eagles fans and Randall Cunningham. You know, I mean, you've got Donovan McNabb, but I mean, outside of a couple of guys, you don't have a lot of, you know, just kind of legendary Eagles QBs, really. So, but that was, that was really, I, I honestly didn't think it would be that far apart. I didn't either, actually, no, uh-uh. All right, Dustin takes the takes the early lead here, two to one. Well as we go into a uh, as we go into a, a uh, what do you call it toss up category, and uh, yeah, this is a fun one. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, each of your favorite players. We got uh, Drew Brees, who is Dustin's favorite player, and Kurt Warner, who is Jeremy's favorite player. Both of their playoff contender auto rookies, uh, the Brees in a PSA nine and the Kurt Warner in a PSA ten. You can see the pop counts at the bottom. Oh man, this is tough. Dang it, that's probably Warner's best card. Oh, both, uh, both Super Bowl winners. Did Breeze only? Did Breeze ever? He only played in one, right? And he won it. He won the one. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, that was right after the hurricane, the massive hurricane. Was that couple oh, years, five? Years. Oh, yeah. Five. So the hur hurricane was five, and then. Uh, Bree, Sean Payton, and Reggie Bush all yeah. joined in 2006, and then we won in 2009. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Was uh? Did Breeze win an MVP? Because I know Warner did, but did Breeze win an MVP? Probably he must have. He never I won in it. He never oh, won. He... A, he never won a league MVP. It was always. You know, the wow. problem was is even his best seasons, he was always up against either Brady, Manning, Manning, yeah. Manning, Manning, Brady, Rogers. Just hogged. I think it was more of a popularity. You know, but even like mm -hmm. his best seasons. And part of the problem was some of his best seasons, the Saints were like seven and nine. So that was the issue too. You know, okay. if they were a playoff team during his best season, you know, so it was, it was tough. But yeah. Mm -hmm. You both ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. One, two, three, reveal. Breeze yeah. and both but Breeze. Yeah. yeah. And both. Okay. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Dustin has gotten his last nine questions right. Well done. <laughs> You, you know, the painful thing is here, you know, Chris knows I'm a diehard Warner fan. And instead of making the Warner the winner, he makes it the loser. For well, me. That, that was, well, <laughs> yeah. no, no, he had a, he had a choice. He had a choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that, Chris? This was the only one where the prices were sort of close. Like, I think the breeze in an eight is like exactly two grand. So I couldn't have done uh -huh. it. Yeah, that would have been tough for me. Oh my gosh, which one? I, I think I probably would have picked Warner if the Breeze was an eight. All right, halfway home, three to two. Uh, uh, a, a powerhouse matchup, as we mentioned. All right, next one is a vintage baseball, the Jeremy category. And uh, I apologize. Oh, I apologize up front for this one. All right, we Ooh. have a 1933 Gowdy Babe Ruth in a PSA one. It's card number 149. You can see the pop counts at the bottom. And a 1956 Topps Common, uh, Tommy Carroll, PSA Gem 10, which is a pop one that sold about two months ago on, uh, it was either Heritage or eBay, I actually forgot. Oof. Wow. No wonder you apologized, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. This is, I'm uh... just going to close my eyes and write, <laughs> write something on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I yeah. assume I assume Jeremy, you 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 have a pretty good idea of the Ruth, but uh, I, I do know the Ruth because yeah. you have no idea on the on the Tommy Carroll. Yeah, I do know the Ruth, and I I think I have an idea on the Carroll. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I think. Yeah. This is a fun one. Yeah, I'm like, re I'm ready because I'm just I don't want to overthink it and then go back and forth ten times. So I'm just gonna go with my with the gut. Okay, good. Both ready? Totally ready. ready. All right, one, two, three, reveal. Tommy Carroll. Both put Tommy Carroll. And it's actually Babe Ruth. Oh! Wow. That was mm. shifty. That was shifty. That was shifty. <laughs> that was, like, impossible unless you just yeah. study PSA 10 prices, I think. Yeah, that that's oh. tough. I would have definitely got this wrong. I would have thought a pop yeah. one, a pop one common was way more, uh, but yeah, that's what it went for. 
And wow. you almost have to guess that because there was only that one sale. It's like that could have been a, right. that could have been a hundred thousand dollars. It could have been a set collector that was just like, that's the last card I need in a ten or whatever. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. That was hard, Chris. Man, no wonder you apologized. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> all right. Uh, question number five here. Uh, Dustin's in the lead, three to two, as we go into a Dustin category, '80s football. Uh, here we go. A little more, a little more straightforward one. Dan Marino, uh, rookie, 1984 tops in a PSA eight, and a Barry Sanders rookie, 89 tops traded in a PSA ten. I didn't put the pop counts because it's not really relevant. Uh, they're both pretty high. There's nothing weird about the pop counts. These were my two favorite players, by the way. Yeah, this one's kind of tricky. It's this one's a little tight. Yeah, uh, Barry Sanders is my favorite running back of all time. Watching him run was fantastic. Oh I think all God. three of us, right? Are we all three Sanders for running back? Yeah. yeah. Like favorite running back? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, and growing up too, it was just like he was far and away the best. I mean, right. I know Emmett Smith, but Emmett Smith, it was kind of boring with Emmett because he was running behind like a bunch of just like Goliaths, like, you know, like gladiators. It felt like every time Emmett Smith got the ball, he ran seven yards before anybody touched him. Whereas with, with uh, or I mean Emmett Smith, but with Sanders, he had to dance around and make it all happen. Yeah. Exactly. All right. I think I'm ready. the winning yeah. answer here. This one's, yeah, this one's tough. It's a little tricky. Yeah, I agree. I'm ready. Told you, I told you the questions were harder this round than they've been. Uh, yeah. All right. Ready to reveal? Ready. Ready. One, two, three, reveal. Marino. Sanders. San Marino. Who had which? Who had which? I had Sanders. I had Marino. It is. All so right. Oh wow! Yeah, so, I thought yeah, about. I'm going to share my my I logic about it. So on this one, basically, I'm like, okay, Marinos, yeah, they go for you know twenty, thirty bucks, forty bucks raw, twenty to fifty, basically, you know. Um, there's a there's a gazillion sevens and eights, as if I'm sure there's a gazillion tens too. But the power of a PSA 10 and having a Sanders and, um, you know, really he's better at his field than Reno was, even though Reno's obviously amazing. I was like, I, I think um, I'm going to go with Sanders on that. Plus, I knew the Sanders value and I approximately knew the Marino, but I haven't sold an eight in a while. So I was like, I'm pretty confident it's uh, Sanders, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, with this one, I actually sold a Sanders 10 maybe like six months ago. So I th I was thinking around $100. And so I know the Marino in a 10 is about a $4,000 card. And a 9, it's about a $400 card. And so I was thinking the 8, I was actually thinking this kind of backwards. Like maybe the 8 is 125 and the Sanders is about 100. Oh, well. Uh, well, that sets up quite the exciting finish here. So yeah. Oh, sweaty. I'm there has not been a there has not been a tie. There has not been a tie in the tournament yet. There is yet to be a tie. Uh, you guys are tied three to three through five questions going into the last question, and it's another one I have to apologize for up front. Um, so oh no! My goal on this last question, and I don't know if I got it or not, was to pick a card that each of you would would basically know one of and have no idea on the other. So that's okay. what I was going for, and I I don't know if I uh, will hit it. Okay. Here. And is this this is a fifties uh, baseball? No, this is a this is a me pick category. Oh, All it's right. a random. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, ready? I hope it's not soccer. All right, we have a Cy Young T206 uh, PSA 2, and it's the Glove Shows variation with the pop counts at the bottom, and a 2018 Top Stranger Things Millie Bobby Brown uh, Auto Blue uh, Parallel. Uh, yeah, Dustin's a Stranger Things guy, right? I almost bought this card like three weeks ago, so yeah. I know I know exactly where it's at. I have just no idea exactly yeah, what you said. Okay, so, okay, so that was it. the goal. That was the goal, and I assume Jeremy yeah. pretty much is the reverse. So a couple of quick notes: um, the Cy Young, the pop counts are in all backs, but uh, but you're going for the price of a standard of the, the basic back, and the the Millie Bobby Brown is numbered out of ten, and there's only been one sale, and it was about a month ago on eBay. It's numbered out of 10. Out of 10, yeah. Chris. Naughty, naughty, <laughs> naughty Chris. I, I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. This is so much worse than the PSA yeah. 10. Actually, it's funny. One. I've got the I've got the card on my desk. Oh, do you that card? The blue I've got the I don't have <laughs> do I don't really? have, 
I don't have this one. I have another one out of 10. Uh, I've, I have the 10 out of 10, but yeah, oh, I, don't, I, I was bidding. I was bidding on this one. How funny. Oh yeah. my yeah. gosh. I didn't, I didn't know that. I, I love Stranger Things, by the way. Um, I have never even seen a comp on any Stranger Thing card ever, ever. So yeah. I'm totally no idea. Is this? I, mean, I, I think I have an idea just based off of general knowledge. You know what I mean? But I can't tell you if it's more or less than a Cy Young. I don't know. Um, well, it's all over the place too. You know, whether we're talking about Stranger Things and then pre-war, I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea on this. All right. Uh, is 2018 the first year of Stranger Things cards? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's right. technically her rookie card. It's the rookie auto. It is. Okay. Let me know when you're all ready. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to be ready. <laughs> yeah. This is for the championship. So I know. <laughs> I know. Man. And I'm, uh... I want to go with my gut, but then I like, but it's like also be smart. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't necessarily want to go with just what I know because, I mean, I don't know. Pre-war is kind of like the the deepest collector base in the hobby. And Stranger Things has a, it's like me and five other people, you know? It's like <laughs> nobody collects it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a suspenseful final. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just glad that Snowman, the Texas Snowman final boss didn't beat me 6-0 or, you know, just like... <laughs> Like we didn't end the call 15 minutes ago because it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the painful thing is I I kind of felt like I should have picked Cunningham, but I just. Well, now I'm like, I should have picked Barry Sanders. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're like going back. We're going back here. <laughs> oh, dang you, Chris Seawall. What are you doing? Such evil. Such evil. All right. All right. One, two, three, reveal. Millie Bobby Brown. One of us will be a winner. We'll have right. a winner. Yeah, you know what? Uh, hey, you know what? Though? This, this is the way it should end. It should end on a Stranger Things card, whether I'm right or wrong. This is the way <laughs> it should end. If I'm going to lose, it should go down. I should go down on this card. So Donson picked Young, and uh, Dustin picked uh, Millie Bobby Brown. Is that right? Yes. All it's right, good Bobby win. Brown. Good win, <laughs> it's a good win bro. Oh, that was man. that was a good ending. <sighs> Wow, man, you couldn't draw that up better, Chris. That was good. I was lucky how that worked out. Yeah, I can't believe As it. Was I, hard. Oh That's god, that was so hard. As I wrote it, I was like, man, who knows? It's probably Bobby Millie. Anyways, though, no, that was a great win, dude. Absolutely fantastic. Good job, man. Well done, man. The champ. <laughs> All right. Yes. Wow. I don't know how to feel. I just, I don't know. I want to thank my parents. I want to thank God. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Right. I Absolutely. Right. <laughs> I feel like I feel like next year I should be like the final final boss. Like everyone goes through the you know the gauntlet and then I'm oh, you there. Get, you get first you get buys, you get a buy until the finals. Kind of, yeah. I mean that's the way I view it in my mind, but maybe you can come up with something different. But <laughs> you can be like you can be the, you can be the one seed or or something like that, but love it. Well, man, it was super fun playing against you, buddy. Congrats, yeah. champ. I, I I have lost my title Thanks. or whatever we've done in the past, Chris. <laughs> so. I'll tell you, I've, I've, yeah, I mean, just the fact you guys have been doing a long time, I've got a little bit more. The, the head's getting bigger. The ego's getting larger. <laughs> Next year, I'm going to have like a gold jacket. I'm going to be like the you know macho man, Randy <laughs> Savage, like a whole character. Like, Dude, what happened to you? You know, like, whatever, I'm the champion. He's so cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, just, you can't hang with me. You can't hang with me. I'm at a different level. <laughs> All right. Thanks, All right, guys. guys. Thanks, Appreciate everybody. It. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Chris. All right, bye. Congratulations to Dustin, the sports card dad, for becoming the first ever winner of the Price is Right Sports Cards Edition Championship Tournament. Uh, that can never be taken away. He will forever be known as the first. It'll be in the history books for, uh, well, uh, until AI takes over and rewrites everything, but really enjoyed putting this together, and I really hope all of you enjoyed uh, watching it. Thanks, everyone.